As I've been talking about for the past week, we are going to have a lunar eclipse tonight. The partial eclipse starts about 1028. It will become total around 1129 and last until 1253 tomorrow morning. Then it will finally come to an end about 155 tomorrow morning. Now the only downside is going to be the weather. We are going to have some clouds in the area, but they are going to be broken. So you should be able to get out and catch a glimpse at least. It's not going to be picture perfect, but you still should be able to see it. Temperatures generally in the 60s in the upstate, and we are going to be a bit muggy in the 70s everywhere else. Now, all those clouds that we are going to have tonight are going to last into the day tomorrow. Then by the afternoon and evening hours, we are going to deal with some thunderstorms. Temperatures about 89 degrees in the upstate and in the low 90s everywhere else. Now, if we do get a couple of thunderstorms, they do have the possibility of being strong. We only have a marginal one out of five risk of severe weather. So, of course, isolated thunderstorms, they are going to be short-lived. But we do have to keep an eye out for 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts and hail up to an inch. Now tracking this out on the future radar, about 12 o'clock, not much activity. Then by the afternoon heating hours around 4 o'clock, here come some showers and thunderstorms starting to fire up. That's going to last through the evening. Then a better line comes together about 10 o'clock in the PD. And that's going to continue to push off the coast and maybe a couple of showers into early Tuesday morning. But once again, not a lot of rain and a couple of these thunderstorms might be strong. So just don't be surprised if you do see a couple of showers of thunderstorms tomorrow evening. Now by your Tuesday, we are going to start to clear out. We are going to cool off just a bit, but still we are going to be pretty hot. 88 degrees in the upstate and PD and 90 degrees in the Midlands and Low Country. Now I haven't given it a mention recently, but the pollen is still pretty high, mainly in the upstate and PD. You see it's getting up to a 10 in both of those regions. In the Midlands and Low Country, it's a little bit lower generally between a 7 and an 8, but even getting up to a 9 in the Midlands by Thursday. Your top allergens are oak hickory, grass, and birch. Now tomorrow we are having that small threat of severe weather, 20 to 30 percent chance of a few afternoon and evening storms, but we are going to start to dry out as we head into the middle of this week, and our hottest day of the week and even of the year is going to come by your Thursday. You see 99 degrees in the Midlands for your Thursday. We're keeping it in the mid to upper 90s for your Friday and even 90s into your Saturday and Sunday, but the chance of showers and thunderstorms does return by the weekend, and we are going to cool back off into the 80s as those chances of rain go up next week. Keep it here at Will's Weather for all the latest information.